So one of the most delightful aspects of making these videos is the wit and wisdom. No, that's two. I'm going into Monty Python now. Anyway, you get the picture. The wit and wisdom of some of the comments underneath my videos. Some of them are so remarkable and so outright funny. I feel quite humbled uh, by my inferiority to the sort of uh, things that these people are coming out with. So, yep, yeah, all hail to the masters. And some of the comments underneath my video about the death of Yahya Sinwa were observations that his name is a combination of sin and war. Well, in English anyway. And yeah, that's sort of interesting irony in a situation replete with ironies. Uh, but then something else occurred to me. You see, Sinwa was a barbarian and he found himself in a stick fight with a drone and a tank. And of course, he lost. Well, everybody lost, but yeah. OK, but what struck me as even more ironic than the fact that this primitive stick wielding man's name was a combination of sin and war uh, was the other thing that he had found himself in a fight with a superior technology run by a man whose name is a combination of net and Yahoo. Now, if that's not an example of nominative determinism, then I don't know what is. I'm Granny Opteryx. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitshoot and Minds. OK, so there was another thought I had, and this refers to my last video in which I played a clip from a, a Kamala Harris speech. Now, Kamala, 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 look, I'm sorry, I am determined not to get her name right. So you can correct me all you like. I'm still going to be confused because I want to be confused. Miss Harris' speech at an election rally, as far as I remember, that was in Wisconsin. At one point, a heckler interrupts her flow by shouting out, Jesus is Lord. And Harris made fun of him, saying he was probably at the wrong meeting and adding that he must have intended to go to a much smaller get together down the road. It was not only incredibly rude, but it was also a good example of how Harris couldn't, on the spur of the moment, come up with a suitably amusing but polite deflection. Her whole demeanour was one of arrogant disrespect. And, you know, I was still thinking of it later on that evening. I was just marvelling at her tone, deaf insolence. Then it occurred to me to compare what she said to a Christian with what she might have said to a Muslim in the same situation. I thought... Would she be so derisive if a Muslim had called out praise to his God? And of course, she wouldn't. Well, that would be not so much that she'd be worried about offending a Muslim, but more that she and everyone else in the room, upon hearing the words Allah Hu Akbar, would be too busy diving for the floor. Till next time, you can help my channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. That's quite important. And by sharing if you're so inclined. Links to my other channels and to donation methods are in the description. But the best way you can help is simply by clicking like and notify. Thank you.